guys, Jackie and Jalen here with another video. We're so excited that you joined in with us. For those of you who are new to our channel, some of the things that we like to do are custom builds, uh, decorating, uh, we like to do DIY projects, and some tips and tricks that you can use in your own home. For this video, we're going to be doing some shelves that we got from Lowe's. We got free wood from Lowe's and we figured for my sister's house, as part of her decorating, we thought it would be really cool to use in her home. And maybe this content will be good for you if you decide to go to Lowe's and get some wood for your own. Um, we'll show you where to get it and we'll show you how to do it. And with this, we're going to be doing the three shelves, cute little table, some decor to finish off the rest of their house that we're decorating. So stay tuned. And let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to find our studs and reason for that is because with this project we want to make sure that the shelves are nice and secure to the wall. If you don't have any studs in the area where you're going to be putting shelves it's best to use anchors. So once we have the shelves placed where we want them to go, we start by leveling out everything, making sure that symmetrically it looks really good on the wall as well as how it's going to look right above the table. And once we have them screwed onto the wall, we did use about a three quarter to a half inch pilot drill bit. So that way, whenever we have the screws we used about a two and a half to three inch screw to help hold it onto the stud. The hole was left. So we thought, you know, why don't we use a wooden dowel to give it a nice clean look? And it worked. So if you want to be super fancy and put a pilot hole and then put some wooden dowels to help hold the shelf, do it. It's really simple. It's definitely something. Um, if you would like to see more videos on how to do that, we can definitely show you how if you want to comment below and we can make sure that we get that video content to you. Uh, after we were done measuring out and leveling out everything, making sure that it was going to be in the perfect spot and dimension wise how high we wanted to go. We wanted to make sure that it looked seamlessly and it looked flawless regarding to the design and decor we were trying to do. Uh, after we were done putting in all of our pilot um, holes and then our dowels, we got this chopped off and we sanded them down just to give it a really cute farmhouse rustic look, stained some of the areas, and then we were ready to start decorating everything. We did clean up all the dust. You're gonna have a lot of dust after you're done doing some pilot holes. So make sure you have some kind of broom or dustpan in handy. Um, and then after we were done using um, all of our tools, we put them away and we started decorating with our picture frames. Now these picture frames are of my daughter and this is my sister's house as mentioned before and I wanted to let her see what we were doing and what the finished product would look like once these shelves were up and what we were going to use as far as the picture frames in her home. So we are using my little ones, my family, my Arabella, my Liam and my husband is in one of them and just to kind of give her an idea of what the look we're going for. After we were done putting up the picture frames, we started decorating the cute little table that was um, there. And I believe she got this table at Kirkland's. And with that being said, uh, my husband came in and took some really good video of the finished product. Here it is guys. I am so excited how this project turned out. It looks awesome. And I wanna give a huge shout out to my lovely assistant Jalen for helping me not only decorate, but to also make this really cool project. I wanna also give a huge shout out to my hubby for making this very first video awesome. Also wanna thank my sister for allowing us to decorate her home and to also furnish it with some really cool pieces like this coffee table. As well as furnishing this area with this gorgeous round table and black chair set, which is something that we'll put in the link below. 
Thanks again guys for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this video on our really, really cute DIY project using some free lumber from Lowe's. If you'd like to see more fun videos, make sure to comment down below, like and subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell for notifications. And thanks for tuning in. Roll the bloopers, babe. Gotcha. Thanks again guys for tuning in. <laughs>